Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to create suits in TestNG. Let me answer. In TestNG projects, in order to create the suits, first we have to create testng.xml file. Okay, so let's go to one project. This is a TestNG project. In this project, I need to create a testng.xml file. There is an easiest way to create a testng.xml file. In Eclipse ID, you can right click, select testng, and say convert to testng. Okay, that is one way. Or if you want to create it manually, right click on this project, select new, and select a file, and just name this file as anything. Okay, like uh, you can give testng as a name or any other name. Okay, testng1. It's okay, you can give any name dot XML. Just say XML. Click on finish. A file got created. Some XML file got created. First two lines are like kind of declaration we have to write. So, like this XML version 1.0 encoding to DFK kind of line we have to write. And second line, we have to mention the doc type for test ng like this. After these two lines are done, then we have to create the sweet tag. Switch, switch. Okay. So, what is the problem? We have to give the name for the sweet tag. Name is equal to, you just give some name. Say, switch one. You can give any name for the switch. Under the sweet tag, create the test tags. You can give any, if you can create any number of test tags. Okay. And here, give name. Let's say test one. Gone. One more test if you want to create test. Name. Let's say test two. Okay. Like the two test, any number of test tags you can create. Inside this test tag, one of the test tags, create classes. Under the classes, create class. And uh, give the name of the class as name is equal to. Here only one class is there under the test package. Give the package name first, test.demo. Okay. This is a class. And you can still go down, okay? Like, uh, if, if you don't want the entire class to be executed, then you can do this, okay? Now, write uh, methods, 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 and in that, write include, include name of the method, this method that you want to include from uh, for running, okay? I'm just writing like manually, like how to do all this stuff. You go to this demo class, there are two test methods. Uh, only one test method is there, sorry, login test is there. So I'll just uh, give that name of that login test here. That's it. Okay. Login test, include name login test. If you don't want this also fine, it will it, still run the login test, okay? So like this you can create, okay? This is one example. So I'll just uh, remove this. You can create any number of tests, but I'm just not doing that, okay? You can repeat the same process for all the tests, okay? If you have, many classes and many packages and all right you can do all this stuff okay but for now this is a simple project having a single class so i'm just going till here so with this you can understand how to create a switch Suite. Suite is a root tag okay in testing xml file it's a root tag under which all the other tags exist and there are other very uh, many other tags like parameter okay groups run like that many things are there define many things are there i am not going to but i'm just giving one example okay so fine now run this xml file Let's see whether it will work or not. It should run the login test, uh, which is a data driven test. That's okay. Something should run. You see it got run. It got uh, executed three times. And you can see the output, this uh, this login test uh, method, which is a data driven test method, it got executed with three sets of data that are there in this example. Okay, that's okay. But uh, the main focus is on how to create the switch. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.